Hello everybody, it's a City Mad Haven here today, and I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. One of them is going to be map positioning in Arctic region. Now, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, to kind of get you guys into my head a little bit. So, I didn't really record this match, we're going to have to jump into the replay system to be able to check it out. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be a little tedious, because the replay system is, uh... I don't know if it's still buggy or not, but hopefully it isn't. So other than that, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Alrighty. So, 2790, I, I've been playing this tank a little bit more to um, kind of learn how to play it. So I, I have invested quite a few matches inside my 2790 over the years. Um, since they released it during the summer, winter, spring, and autumn event, I believe it was, where you can get the discounted version of it. I completed three out of the four during that time that they had it. And I, I got my hands on it for like a 75% discount. It was a really nice discount. Sadly, though, they haven't done anything like that in a while. So since I've got, since I ever got the 2790, I've invested 294 matches inside of it, maintaining a 58.84 win rate across the board. But over the past 90 days, I've managed to jump that win rate up to 72.73% with uh, 4,424 damage combined. So. To be able to jump into this and actually explain what I've been trying to experiment with, it's map locations. Places that you can fall back to, start to defend, or even like where to go ahead and get aggressive. Um, the teams on this one, the enemy team has a 40-43 artillery, that comes into account later inside the match. But starting off, a little bit of an aggressive play, jumping up at the front left side, we are short-handed. It is me and a VK4502B Legend X2 214 up uh, against the Super Conk, Machine, T95E6, and our light tank that went ahead and went forward, which is the EBR-105, kind of found himself in a situation where he's caught out. Behind us, there's a Scorpion G. So now, the T95E6 is pulling up and left. Right here, this feels like a really bad position to be in, so the goal is just to start backing off. I've been trying to tell this guy to follow me on the uh, right side of the screen that it popped up. And my goal is, is just to get out of here, let the enemies have this area. Looking back up, we have a 704, I was keeping track of the map to see what we had. Put a little bit of aggression on uh, the T95E6 right here, let's go ahead and back off. Getting back up the hill, this is something that I r have been wanting to show off for a while. Because this kind of gameplay is extremely difficult, but at the same time, Arctic region this map over here in E0, if you can get E0 and lock it down, and you have teammates that are located in C8, and you have this entire bottom section between H8 to um, F9 being taken over and a lot of pressure being applied here by the enemy team, your best bet is the backup right here. Take this position, make the enemies come to you. Whenever you do this, it actually allows your team that's further in the back that are able to get some cross shots to be able to come over here and put some shells down range for anyone that's trying to get aggressive up against you as you're working the side corner. And if you need to, you can keep on backing up, backing up, backing up until you get about right here inside of any other tank that has a little bit of gun depression to force the enemies to come over to get shots while providing crossfire for your allies to be able to get shots coming in on the side where they can't get aggressive to shoot your teammates and if they try to get aggressive against you your teammates are able to get some shots in them. So for platooning, this is actually just as amazing. Right here, I'm loading the premium because I want to guarantee the damage. And there's the 4043 that we were talking about. So there we go. We're just loading the heat rounds right now. We want to guarantee all the damage that we can. Scorpion G and then the 704 causing a little bit of crossfire. Plus, we have another 704 off in the background that's now coming back around to be able to apply more pressure. The machine, my goal is not to aim at him. There's no point in me rotating my armor to try and pay attention to someone that's going to be getting knocked down by the 704 across the way further down. So, right here, actually, that was by Potter. That was uh, from that 704 right over there. This guy. Nice. Good hit. But locking down this position here, there's not really much that you need to do except for, you know, artillery. It's, it's sky cancer. That's all it really is. And rocks that still have... Uh, never mind. Alright, coming back to the gameplay. But right here, if you can get into this position, cause a little bit of a crossfire with your platoon, 
it will allow you to take it over. And right here, best example, actually, I need to mute the game audio because it's all messed up. Because, you know, the replay system is amazing. 705A was aiming at us. The machine was aiming at us. Along with that, our VK was taken down. And there was one more. I don't know where he went. Unless that was it. He went down to go try and take on the Scorpion G. But so far, already, three tanks that were focused on us in, in this corner. And our teammates were allowed to get side shots in every single one of them to be able to send out the damage. And along with that, now it's last man standing against a Conqueror. So, to me, this is one of the plays that if you can manage to fall back to this position and you have enough support from the rear end, it's really all that you need. And sadly, too much time has passed to be able to actually show up the statistics of that match. But by the end of that game, I, I want to say it was like 4,000 damage dealt. But the fact is, the way that I fell back, I managed to get the attention of the enemies focused on me. And it... That's one of the positions on Arctic Region that if you really just want to, that your team doesn't push down that left side and you don't want to go down there because you know it's going to be a death trap. If you're playing in a platoon, have your platoon set up that way. You have someone take the hill. You have someone take the other position further down. That way you get a bit of a crossfire going on where the guys that are coming up want to focus out um, whoever is on that right side because that right there it makes it to where... You're going to put the enemies coming up. You can do this against seven tanks if you do it correctly. The 279E, you know, some of you guys are probably going to sit there and be like, well, you were in a 279E. That tank is extremely tanky. It's <laughs> we're playing a tank game, I'm saying tanky. But um, it, it's just, if you go further back, you can prevent enemies from pushing over. You know, equipping your heavy tank to move there, even if you're inside of a, like a Conqueror, um, an M103, even a T32. This, this strategy works in every single tier going up to 10. From 5 to 10, this can work with anything as long as you have enough armor to be able to hold that left side. You do that, the enemies that come up, your goal is to try and track them out for your allies to be able to take shots. You probably saw the tracking shot I put down in the machine to make them waste a repair kit to be able to get on the move, but also dealing damage. It's just a little tip I have for Arctic Region. I want to do a lot more of these, so this is probably the best way to start off. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. If, if you guys have any other positions, leave them down in the comment section saying what map and the area on the map. And that would probably be the best bet uh, for me to try and learn some new ones and show off what I know. Um, but Arctic Region is one of the maps that I have I enjoy playing. It's fun. Um, other than that, you guys, I don't know what to say. You can clearly tell that I played a lot of 279E this morning. Holy crap. Ouch worth it i've been playing it a lot as of recent for whatever reason i want to three mark it it'd be fun to three mark you guys have fun i'm out of here i'm done being a muppet and i'm sorry that i haven't uploaded in a couple of days but it is what it is well 10 days now i was gonna do the asterion which is actually surprisingly a good tank i was gonna do the review the next day afterwards but i put a couple more games inside of it and realized that it's not what I thought it was going to be like. I mean, it, it is technically, but with the way the frontal armor was redesigned, it kind of helped the tank a tad bit, so I'm taking a bit longer on that. I'm sorry. You guys probably won't get my review until you have to buy it next year. So, thank you guys. Have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever time you're catching this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Seriously, leave a comment. I, I enjoy reading them, and if there's a conversation potential, I will reply. Yep. Also, my buddy, having a time over on Twitch TV. Like the guy. All right, I'm out of here. That's it.